What's going on YouTube gamers? Bonfire here and welcome to another weekly update. So I found something pretty cool this week. I actually talk about it on three of our exploits. You'll see that in a couple days. But I was pretty stoked when I found it because uh, I haven't had it in a long time. So it's Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And no, I am not sponsored by Mountain Dew, though I am open if they are interested. But uh, it's tasty. This is a blast from the past, you know. <sighs> yeah, I know this this won't give you diarrhea, trust me. So I picked up a new game this week. Most of you probably know, maybe you don't, but I picked up Wolfenstein, The New Order. It just came out on Tuesday, and it came out for all of them, Xbox One, 360, PS3, PS4, and PC. And uh, it's great. I'm about four hours into it. I'm doing a Let's Play of it on my channel, so please go check it out. And let me know what you guys think about the game. And uh, follow me on my journey throughout the game. Um, there's certainly some new moments as I get used to the game and, and explore. But uh, it's it's fun. And like I said, I'm about four hours into it and I'm really enjoying it thus far. And I think what stands out to me the most about it is that it's a good blend between modern day storytelling and old school first person shooter games. I mean, it mixes your traditional good first-person single-player game with some modern-day storytelling. I mean, there's there's some long cutscenes in there, which is more traditional in today's today's games. But the pacing is really good throughout the story, and that to me that's a, a strong modern touch to an old-school first-person shooter. And uh, it it's the controls are really good. Um, it makes it, you, you get the options to be kind of stealthy or you kind of just shoot them up. You can do both, combine them. It, it's, it's great. It, it's so much fun and I'm really enjoying it. So, um, go check out my, my let's play of it and, uh, let me know what you guys think. It's, it's good. It's good stuff. So there's definitely some gory and risque moments in there. So you've been warned, but, uh, it's certainly worth your time. So I hope you guys will join me on that journey. The other thing I wanted to touch on is something I've been thinking about for a while, and that's PC gaming. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm I'm a console gamer, born and raised a console gamer. I mean, ever since the original NES, playing that, I've always had a controller in my hand when it comes to gaming, and that's where I feel most comfortable. But I, in my younger days, I dabbled in PC gaming a little bit. Trust me, I played the Doom on Doom on PC and uh which is probably one of my first person the first first person shooter I've ever played uh Doom on PC so that tells you something but I, I've kind of I've gone away from that and I've I'm a console gamer but I'm really drawn to PC gaming and the reason is because there are so many games out there for PC and with with Steam that's really stepped its game up in terms of having more smaller indie games and, and just making games more accessible on the PC, in my opinion. The, there's a lot of games out there on PC that are, aren't ever going to come to console and that I really want to play. And I've kind of made it a goal for myself to build myself a good quality PC um, or by November is the plan. Um, especially, I'm going to wait for some of those good Black Friday sales because I know you can get some killer deals on that stuff, but I, I really want to get into PC gaming, and I want to bring that to my channel, because like I said, there's a lot of games that I want to play. I mean, to name a few, um, I know there's DayZ, I watch Gold Glove, I, <laughs> that, that game just looks fun, it just looks like you can do a lot of crazy things and just kind of create your own type of fun within that game, and uh, that interests me. Um, I think there's a game called, it's, it, it's in Bro Force, I believe it is. Kind of just looks like a good fun co-op Contra style shooter that could be a lot of a lot of fun with friends. And uh, there's one indie game that came out. It's called Anti Chamber, and it, it's kind of a it's kind of like Portal. It's a puzzle game, first person puzzle game, and uh, it just looks looks crazy. I've watched some 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 videos on it, and it it just looks like it just messes with your brain, it just screws you up. And uh, I kind of like games that make you think and. and are challenging in that sense. And, uh, I mean, there's just, 
there there's just tons of different little games to try. I mean, there's another one that Gold Glove and in, in, in the crew started playing, which was uh, Fistful of Frags. It's like a Western first-person shooter multiplayer game. Heck, I don't know, but it looks fun. It looks like there's just there's just lots of just little fun games to play that you aren't going to get the chance to play to on consoles. So I am certainly want to get into PC gaming and just to get to try out all these different different games. And, and I know Steam has a lot to offer out there. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to keyboard and mouse it. It's certainly going to be a challenge for me. Um, hopefully there's a lot of games where I can just hook up a controller and play um, just just to get the feel with it but yeah so pc gaming is in my future i will tell you that much but now my favorite time of the week comments of the week this week's comment of the week comes from one-eyed man who on my first video of my let's play of wolfenstein he says i want those beige walls painted Okay, you want them, you want them painted. That's great. Uh, I I followed. He followed up that comment by saying he wanted them painted periwinkle, <laughs> and uh, that okay, that's great. I'm not gonna paint my wall periwinkles. I'll just tell you straight up, that's not gonna happen. But maybe someday I'll, I can have a cool green screen and you won't need to see anything. But I mean, the shelf looks cool. You know, I like to show off the collection and. Uh, I'm just not that cool yet to have a green screen and and I they're not gonna let me paint the walls. My apartment won't they won't let me do that. Um so beige you, I'm sorry bro, but you're gonna have to deal with the beige. So shout out to you for the interesting comment. And unique. I liked it. So shout out to you one eyed man. I appreciate the comments. Keep the comments coming. I always appreciate those. And maybe next week you got you can be featured on comment of the week. And there you guys have it. That's up for this weekly update. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know with a thumbs up. And if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and catch up with me every week on the weekly update. Until next time, I'm Bonfire, and I will see you online. Hey, guys, don't forget about Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. And hit that button down below.